Let's talk a little bit more about the income statement, also called the profit and loss statement or the operating statement. The point of this financial statement is that owners and the other stakeholders in the company need periodic information about how the company is doing in terms of profitability. The income statement shows revenue and expenses for a given period and also what profit is left over. And just real quickly, here's an important concept to keep in mind about the income statement. It's done for a specific period of time and you're matching the revenues that were generated in that period of time with the expenses that were incurred in that same period of time. The expenses that it took to produce and sell the stuff that you sold. And that's called the matching principle. Let's talk about the major line items of a sample income statement for a broker. The first section of the income statement is revenues. And this is income that is generated through the sales and the operations of the brokerage. And you can see that revenue is coming in from several different sources. You've got commissions and fees, contingent commissions from carriers, and income that you're making from investments that you have as well. And you might need to take out some commissions that you are actually paying. For instance, if another agency is providing you with some business or passing along some business to you, and you're paying them a commission for that. And this, in total, would give you net revenues. And you can see that the column on the right is the percentage that that line item is of the total commissions and fees. So that gives us a benchmark of what each item is relative to that total commissions and fees line. And then we're going to match the expenses to those revenues. And we've got compensation expense, which are commissions that we're paying out to our producer teams, salaries and payroll too for staff at the agency, support staff, etc., and selling expenses like travel expenses related to the revenue that we're generating. Marketing too, that was related to selling policies. And then we've got operating expenses, things like office supplies or shipping, postage, travel, auto expenses. Expenses that we incur are again related to generating that revenue. And then administrative expenses, things like depreciation expense on the assets that we own like computers or buildings that we use to run the business, or maybe insurance that we have covering our agency, things like that. And if we add those up, and of course we take out taxes, we'll get to net profit. And as a percent of the revenue that we talked about above, that net profit is 5.9%. And we call that the net profit margin. And when you hear the term margin, that means profit, but as a percent of revenue. So it refers to the percent, not the dollar figure. And after it's all said and done on the income statement, net income can go out to one of two places, broadly speaking. It can either stay within the company as retained earnings on the balance sheet, money that we're keeping in the company, or it could be paid out as dividends, which is distributions to shareholders who are the owners of the company. And another point related to the income statement, it's important to realize that the income statement is for many companies not just done on a cash basis. That is, profit could actually be different than cash flow. And this is for several reasons. We've listed a few of them here. So the point is, profit is not always the same as cash flow. And companies often also look at profit by customer segment. And here's an example of a report called a profit contribution report. And it really helps you to understand where the pools of profitability are coming from across your customer segments. And you can see some of the differences in a report like this. For instance, business owners policies here, which in this report, your company is actually losing money on that segment versus where you're making a profit in some of the other segments. So it helps you to fine tune and hone the approach that you're using in working with your customer segments.